So this is what we're gonna be doing today. Not only am I super excited, but I know you guys have been dragging me for this video, so. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nima Tang, for those of you guys that are new. So today, we are going to be doing the long anticipated, long awaited brow update. I didn't want to do this because I was like, everyone knows how to do their brows. By this point in time, if you are into makeup and you love makeup, you probably have found lots and 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 lots of tutorials on brows, updated brow routines. I've done a few of them on my channel. I was just like, do you guys really want to see this video? Like I kept asking because I kept getting comments. What have you been doing your brows? What's the new brow routine? And I'm just like, guys. But then I realized there was one new thing that I was doing that made a world of difference to how my brows look. Not everyone might watch this video, but the people that do watch it are gonna get a lot from it, so let's jump straight into it. Make sure you are subscribed, turn on your notifications, and let's do these brows, cause you guys can tell I am bald. <laughs> well, baldish. I'm gonna keep this lens, because at first I was gonna pull out the one that you guys like, but honestly I just feel like that might be a little too close for brows. I feel like you kinda have to see your brows all at once, and the other one, it just kinda shows you one eye, so it's really good for eyeshadow, so you guys can see all the pigmentation in the eyeshadow. I feel like you need the space to be like all seen at once. So that's why we're gonna keep this lens, but I will get you guys in a little bit closer. So. For the longest time, my brows were very blocky because I didn't have this technique that I currently have right now. That was like the biggest thing I hated about my brows is because how do I go from this sparseness to where I want to be without having blocky brows? And I hate the blocky brow situation. Like I literally hate it. And that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys today. So pretty much today all you're gonna need is just your favorite pencils. I use two different pencils. I use one to just start with and then I use one to darken my tail so my tail can be more defined. This is from Beauty Blender. This is one of their newest brushes that launched. I think with their concealers. I don't know what you call it. Is it an angled brush? Is it a side brush? I don't know, I'll look up the name, I'll find it, I'll put it down below. It doesn't even have to be this specific brush. You just want something super thin like that. You guys see that? See how thin that is? That makes the biggest difference. There's this one, right? Not as thin, like at all. Nowhere near, like nowhere near. Nowhere near. So this is not gonna work. And there's this one, not as thin either. Nowhere near. Ever since I have this brush in my life, that's where this new brow technique came from. And so I'm not trying to say go out and buy this brush if you don't want to, but I'm trying to tell you, you need to find something similar to this. Brow number one, we're gonna do my good brow, the one that always cooperates, cause this one, she be having a mind of her own sometimes. And she just, mm mm. Sometimes I wish I could just ship her away to boarding school. I do shape my brows with a razor or like a brow razor. And I think they're pretty decent. So I don't think I need to shape them again today. I don't brush up. I don't like this. I don't like that. I just brush back. Also, since I'm already in shambles, why not? I'm gonna powder down my brows just a little bit because I hate when my brows are shiny. That's like my biggest annoying pet peeve about my brow routine, especially since foundation and then brow situation, I powder my brows down. So I'm just using the Dior Nude Air Luminizer. That's just the very light translucent powder that's gonna do what I need it to do. So I'm just setting that brow, setting her, even though she's gonna give us a hard time. Let's start filling in this brow. I usually start on my tail first and then work my way to the front. This part is literally just filling it in like any other normal brow routine. Find your shape, however you like it. Just start filling it in. I honestly hate pencils, you guys. It makes my soul so mad because there's literally not many pencils on the market that go dark enough for my skin tone. Like, I can't just use this pencil and go. Like, I really don't like it. My brows just don't look defined at all whatsoever. In picture, they disappear. There's not many bar pencils on the market. And you know, I'm gonna go out on a little bit of rant now and talk about how um, there's lots of things besides foundations that are not inclusive. Okay, mm that's it. <laughs> It literally looks like I barely did anything. I mean, you can see the difference, but you know, not enough. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep working that in. This is a Benefit Precisely My Brow in the number five. I think they have a number six. I have that here, but I think that one is lighter than me. It's almost gray. It comes off very gray. <laughs> so that's why I don't use that one. Let's actually do one brow at a time so you guys can see the difference. Kind of where we wanna be shape. See how this 
did the tail is just literally disappearing. That's what I'm talking about. Ew, she's gone. She's gone. Now I'm going to use the Outer Glass Pencil in the shade Obsidian. This is an eyeliner, but I use it for my brows because it's one of the only super precise pencils or eyeliners that also is very pigmented. I just wish it wasn't black. They also have a different shade. It's in the shade Canyon, and that one's also a really nice brow pencil as well. That's what I normally use, but I can't find it. Now I'm gonna really start to define my brow. Be careful. It is very pigmented, so I can go very blocky, very dark, very fast. I mean, we could fix that always, but I just don't wanna have to, I'm not in the business of fixing. I just wanna make it right the first time. I'm just playing. Fill that in. Also, I feel like I found a really nice flattering brow shape for my face, and it makes me so happy. Like, y'all, I'm just like, I have been through it. I have been through brow phases. When you have no brows, you've been through brow phases because you don't know what to do because you, they literally look non-existent on your face, so you can literally do anything you want. <laughs> now I'm just gonna start flicking this up. Just creating hair-like strokes right up in here. So that's good enough. Actually, no, I want my tail a little bit longer. That might be too long. So next, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my brows. I'm gonna use the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer, and I use it in the shade Ganache. I use this shade because that's the shade that I also use to put on my eyelids as my eyeshadow base. They all kind of just blend together seamlessly, just look nice and smooth. I don't know what this brush is called. Y'all know, I'm just gonna keep mentioning this brush. I'm gonna also use this brush right here. Clean up my brows. I always clean up my brows. I just, I just do. I, I like the way that that looks, but I don't go too light. So I'm gonna start here, right? And I start here and then I take it down. And you see how like that's nowhere near my brow? I like it like that because it prevents mistakes. It's easier to just pick up where you left off here and then down and then down and then just work your way through that line. So that way you're getting a nice crisp line but you're also not messing up. There's no mistakes. Anthony just got my car wash for me. Oh yeah, first of all, thank you guys so much for all the love of my last video. Oh my God, you guys were so sweet and like so understanding and I love you guys. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for all the love on the Bridal Glam video. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. And then now I'm going to work on the front. Whatever's left here to clean up the front. And then I'm just going to take my finger and blend that out. She's very orched, okay? She's very inquisitive today. We're going to fix that. <laughs> That's somewhat similar to where I would like to be. I feel like everything is drying down super fast. It might be my fan that I have on. We've already set ourselves up for success by feathering out the tip of the brow. Let me find out today's gonna be a bad brow day, the one day I decide to do a brow routine. This next step is the reason why we need that super thin brush that I was talking about in the beginning. This won't work with the other two brushes that I showed you guys earlier. Like, it absolutely will not. I have tried it. I only have one of these, and I haven't packed it once before, and I tried it with the other ones, and it was bad. It was bad. I literally almost took off in it the entire brow. So I'm just taking some more concealer that I have on the back of my hand, and I am getting this brush not overly saturated, but saturated enough to where it's not gonna be runny. Saturated enough to where it's not gonna show up and look like clumpy or runny. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm literally going to pretend like I had the best microblading or the best brows in the world. We're gonna mimic the look of hair strokes by taking away some of this color, if that makes sense. So that's what we're gonna do today. Let me show you guys, let me just show you guys what I'm talking about. It's almost like the concept of reverse contouring for not having a contour. I'm gonna start like this. You guys see? Finessery, witchcraft, trickery at its finest, okay? You guys see? I know y'all see what I'm talking about. Sometimes I do, I have to add a little bit more, just especially at the front, because I want that to be really, really precise. Sometimes I go diagonal too. Ooh, that one was very diagonal. 
And honestly, at this point, it's just kind of up to you like what you want to do. I think I'm good there. I feel like I even went a little too heavy, but I really wanted to show you guys what I was talking about as far as like the strokes. So that looks good. So that's brow number one. So that's really what I've been doing with my brows. I think I did too much with this brow. So I'm gonna go ahead and like fill in a little bit more. This is how I do my brows now. Yeah, I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more. I think I put in too many hairs or take out too many hairs. There we go, that's a little bit better. So I'm gonna go ahead and do dish brow off camera. This is not a new technique. The only thing that's new, new, new is the reverse hair-like strokes that I just showed you guys. That's the only thing that's new that's really, really changed my brows for me and really made them look more natural, more, maybe she's born with it. Brow that I told you guys I wanted to ship off to boarding school decided to embarrass me today and look better than the one that I did on camera, which is irritating, but it's the same technique, so. It's okay. So the next thing that I like to do, since I put all that concealer underneath my brows and I don't like shiny brows, is I'm gonna go ahead and set that concealer. I'm gonna use this Milani pa palette. This is the Most Love Mattes. Set that brow area. It also helps highlight my brow bone, which is cute. I am going to now go into this palette right here. This is a palette that I created of um, some Ben Nye Press Colors. There's two blushes in here, which are those top two, and then these two have, I've been using as like contours and bronzer, just contour, just contour shade. I'm gonna go into this shade right here because it's the one that's closest to my skin tone. And I'm gonna use this right here. I'm also gonna take that into the brow, and this will help diffuse the front portion of that brow right there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my eyes off camera and then we're gonna come back for one last step for the brows and then we'll be done. We are back. We went super bold with the eyes. So now with the brows, I'm gonna just highlight my brows as normal. Just focus all of that on the high points, the very, very high point right there. So after highlight and that powder that we put down earlier to keep the brows from looking shiny, I feel like the tail kind of gets less and less defined, so I go in with the pencil that's matte, just to kind of bring back that intensity of the tail a little bit. Now this part, you wanna have a steady hand because you're not gonna be able to clean it up. Do you see how that just like defined that arch a little bit more than how this one kind of like blended and melted away? That's why I just like to do this last step. Here we go, brows are done. Alrighty guys, so that is it for this video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. I know like I said, I've been getting a lot of questions about these brows. This is how I've been doing it. It's that one little trick that I changed up on my brows and I really do feel like it's made a world of difference. My brows look a lot more natural, a lot more fluffy. That's pretty much it for today's video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, turn on your notifications, hit the thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Lots of love and I will see you guys next time.